everybody it's Christina from Card Making Magic. This little card is what I'm going to make and it's the American A2 size so as you can see it's not much bigger than palm sized and it makes a very pretty card. Now the dies that we're going to use are the A2 matting basics A and B. Now there is a video on matting basics which will explain to you why you would need two sets that look almost identical. Now for the, the fancy label, the fancy layer at the top I'm going to use the A2 floral ribbon threader and just these dies are going to make the bits that I need for my card. So to create the base I've taken the largest die from the Matting Basics A set and I've cut myself two pieces of card which I've hinged together to make my base and then from the largest die in the A2 Matting Basics B set I've cut myself another patterned piece of paper in the colour that I want to make the card and this is going to fit along the front of the card. Now I'm also going to cut another one of these that will go inside the card to line it. Now from the A2 floral ribbon threader I have used the solid cutout and I've created um, just a base mat in the lilac and white and then popping these two dies together I have cut myself a patterned layer which is this one. Now with the, the fancy layer that I've cut I'm just going to take some ribbon that matches my colour scheme and I'm just going to push it through all the holes in that label and I'm just going to thread it through so that it, it, it fills all the card. So you're just going to push it in. So really all you're doing is, is just weaving it in. But you want to make sure that it's, it's nice and straight and it gives you a nice layer on the top of the ribbon. And you're going to carry on working your way all around the outside edge. And then once you've gone all around the edge, this is what you will have. Now once you've threaded that with ribbon, I'm just going to put some foam tape on the back. Now people keep asking me where do I get the foam tape from that I can rip with my fingers. And the simple answer is, it's from the pound shop. You get three rolls in a pack for a pound, it's really cheap. But this is the tape that you can rip with your fingers. So once you've done that, you've put the tape on the, the back, you're just going to add it to the base layer that you cut. And that's just going to sit along there. Now from that ribbon I've also created a small bow and I'm going to pop that along one of the sides on my shape. Now if you look at this one, I've put the flowers at the bottom and the bow at the top, so I think we'll do the next one the opposite way round. So we'll put the bow at the bottom and we'll have the flowers along there. And that is going to be added to one of the two um, lilac layers that I cut. If you remember, I cut one for the inside and one for the front of the card. And that's just going to sit along there. So once you have this layered together, someone has asked me, are they restricted to making cards of just this size? And the simple answer is, no you're not. Because what you can do is you can map that onto um, a white layer just to separate the colors. And then you can either use um, a different colour and add that to the front or you can use a matching colour 
and add that to the front but that white layer just separates your patterns which makes it look much better but there then you would have a card that is a bigger size but for now I'm just going to create the A2 size so this is now ready to add to my A2 sized base so I've stamped and embossed um, a sentiment in silver and I have then cut it out using the, the little labels die in the floral ribbon threader set again with foam tape I'm going to add that to my, my front and I'm going to bring it down towards the bottom because I want to add the flowers along the top now I'm going to just pretty that up with some bling from want to scrap this is how you buy it but don't be afraid to cut it up and I've just separated all the pieces and all I'm going to do is just use one small piece and add it in to the bottom of that sentiment and then I've chosen some flowers that I want to use and I'm going to add these flowers in along the top of the card and one on top of the knot on the bow or I might just add in a pearl along that bow I'll see how I feel once I start sticking things in place but that's just a dry run of how I can make the card so I've added my flowers in place I found a larger pearl to add to the the bow and the last, the last thing I'm going to do is just add some um, glue to my flowers to just add some sparkle and just to spread that glue around I'm just going to go over it with my finger and all I need to do is just sprinkle on my, my glitter and then tap off the excess and once the glitter dries, once the glue dries um, it will lie more flat on the card so I've taken off the rest of the glitter and there we have a finished card which is the A2 size so there you have two cards, different colours the same dies have been used they're both using the A2 US size from Spellbinders and it's the Matting Basics A and B and the Floral Ribbon Threader so you've seen the two smaller cards but don't forget you can add this topper to a larger base to create a bigger card you're not restricted to small cards you can use it either in landscape or in portrait